The Coral Lab was established in 2007 as an experimental facility to um, support our work on coral biology. And the Coral Lab consists of an experimental uh, facility, which you are seeing here, the aquarium, where we can do experiments under controlled conditions. And that is combined with a um, state-of-the-art molecular facility that allows us, us to do um, molecular experimentation right in the proximity of our experimental setup. For my masters I was looking at remote sensing of coral reefs, so looking at coral reefs from satellite sensors. And one thing I came to kind of discover was that not enough is really known about them at a much smaller scale. So the idea of doing this project was really to, to work with them on a sort of a smaller scale to really understand how light interacts with corals. So having access to the Coral Reef Aquarium here at Knox is invaluable to my project because it enables me to really work with corals on a day-to-day -day basis when I can run both short and long-term experiments to really see how uh, the corals change over time and I can also manipulate different uh, environmental factors to see how that affects how corals use light. I think in particular what drew me to do uh, this particular PhD is the ability to learn some new techniques in the lab. So. Uh, specifically molecular biological techniques which have always uh, been of interest to me and up till now I haven't had the chance to uh, learn any of those skills in particular so that's what really drew me. Um, in addition to that I also have quite a lot of experience with corals previously so it's nice to try and combine the two things. So obviously being able to um, get hands-on experience with corals and have them available to use within my research is absolutely critical and from that point of view the use of the aquarium is completely integrated into my PhDs. Coral reefs are threatened all over the planet. The often fatal coral bleaching is one of the major drivers of coral reef decline. Our research found, however, that improving the water quality can make corals more resilient to bleaching. So what you can see here is the fluorescence of corals. So they glow in this beautiful orange, red and green color. So here we have a green bit, there's the um, orange color. And those are fluorescent proteins and they are very important tools for biomedical research. So you can use them to light up tumor cells, for example. So in what our lab is doing, that we screen for novel um, proteins with exciting properties for research applications. The National Oceanography Centre is obviously part of the University of Southampton as well as uh, National Environmental Research Council. So the facilities here are second to none really as far as the uh, national level and international are concerned. So if you're looking for somewhere where you're going to have the expertise both in teaching and in research then the NOC is the place to come. Um, not to mention the facilities such as the aquarium which we're talking about today um, have to offer towards your PhD or indeed your undergraduate or any other form of postgraduate teaching. So we have um, world-class facilities down here, so we have molecular labs, we have imaging facilities, we have the mass spectrometry in reach. So this allows us to do um, our wet experiments on site and then analyze the data right in the building or in collaboration with the main campus. Wow.